Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing what are your unexpected blessings coming towards you? So this, this reading is timeless, so you can obviously tune into this energy whenever you would like, and it doesn't really matter on the time frame. So we have group number one, group number two, group number three, and group number four, and let's get started into your unexpected blessings. So starting off with group number one. Hello group number one, let's get started with your reading. Let's see what are your unexpected blessings coming towards you. So let's see what we have. Let's start off with the crystal cards. We have Jade, Good Luck, Heart Chakra. This is a new setup, guys, so I'm just gonna see where I'm filming this. Seraphonite, Heart Chakra as well. Zebra Stone, Root Chakra. We then have Faith, Worm Moon, Imagination. From the astrology, we have Cancer, 10th House and 12th House. From the Tarot, we have the Five of Swords, the World and the Ten of Wands. So there's a lot going on here. So your next unexpected blessing I can really feel is something really, really big, okay? It's something that's gonna bring you a lot of emotional expansion. It's something that's gonna make you feel really, really good about yourself. And something that's gonna make you feel really kind of open and emotional and it's gonna help you to raise your emotions to a higher level, okay? So with the reputation in the 10th house, it's all about career responsibilities and being an authority figure. And then the 12th house, it's all about your subconscious mind, your compassion, your dreams. So I definitely feel like you possibly have gone through quite a lot of career changes or you've gone through a lot of different things in your career. Everything's kind of been changing in your career. There hasn't really been anything solid. Or if there has been something solid, it hasn't really lasted very long, okay? So I do feel like the unexpected blessing that's coming towards you is you're going to find a career that's gonna really, really help you and impact you and make you feel really, really good about yourself. It's gonna make you feel like you're actually living your own life and not living it for society or for anyone else. It's literally just you living your best life, okay? Um, this is also about compassion and karma and baggage and things like that. So I definitely feel like you're gonna be releasing a lot of that. I feel like you've kind of gone through like a really big stage. You've gone through something that's been really, really painful for you and really, really uncomfortable. And I really feel like you are letting that go and you're releasing this. You're really, I'm hearing releasing karma into a new phase, okay? And this is all about new openings, new ideas, new things coming into perspective. With this imagination, it says, envision a new reality, give yourself permission to dream and believe in unlimited possibilities. So this doesn't actually have to be about career, but it is basically like pushing me towards career. It could be to do with a career that is very good for your heart chakra as well. And as I said, very good for your, yeah, your heart chakra. And it could also be a very spiritual job. It could be a spiritual teacher. I am getting a lot of the throat chakra in this group as well, which is really, really interesting. With the faith card, it's basically telling me you guys have been for a lot of stuff, like really bad stuff. And it doesn't have actually have to pertain to career, as I said. It just feels like you guys need to have um, a more open idea of what you wanna do. And if you don't know what to do, it's giving yourself permission to dream and let yourself open up to possibilities that you think would kind of be out of your reach. But you think, no, actually, I really wanna do that. If there's something you really wanna do, and you think, I'm not sure if I can do it. I think if you really, really want to do it, just freaking do it and just go towards it and have the ability to just be childlike about it and not to have restrictions because children don't have restrictions. You know, as we grow up in adult adulthood, we give ourselves restrictions and we give ourselves overthinking and worrying, anxiety. And this is all about just surrendering to it and letting yourself kind of come out of that stage. So the fact we've got the 10 of wands is really making me feel like you have like overcome this. So if you are still in this phase of I don't know where the F I'm going, um, you are gonna you are gonna change and things are gonna move through, okay? Ooh, what else have we got? Yeah, it's just having compassion for yourself and just understanding that it's okay. You some of you may actually be giving birth as well or be pregnant. I definitely feel like it's definitely 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 feel like there's a new stage coming towards you guys. Um, <clears throat> with the honesty, it's being honest about yourself and honest about where you want to go and not being influenced by other people. <coughs> My throat keeps doing stuff, so I definitely feel like it's something to do with talking about something as well. And <coughs> my chest is feeling really restricted. So there's a lot of heart chakra energy here. It's doing something you really love and not being constricted like this by other people. 
I feel like the heart chakra is so caged in. It feels really like, it doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel good. Yeah, I feel like that's basically what's going to happen, guys. I feel like you're surrendering and things are going to turn out really, really well. Let's see what else we have. I'm going to pull a couple more tarot cards for you guys. Oh, that was quick. Do you want these? Yep, they said definitely want those. So we have the tower underneath, which is beautiful. So if, okay, there's two versions to this. If nothing is happening, then I definitely feel like something will happen, okay? And you're possibly worrying about things not happening or things not changing, they will, okay? And if things are changing and things are being like too intense or, you know, in, just intense, then I do definitely feel like there's gonna be a massive opening and awakening. And I feel like you're of, like coming out of being neglected. I'm hearing neglected and abandoned and um, uncomfortable with other people or certain people, certain people who've ruled your life. And you're walking away from that and you're walking away and you are moving into a much nicer place. I definitely thought travel for this group, yeah. So there's definitely gonna be travel here and you could be connecting with a water sign or you could also just be connecting with your water feminine elements in your, in your chart and in your life pretty much, your feminine side, your feminine energy. Yeah, it's definitely, you definitely got permission here. I'm getting the word permission constantly, constantly. It's like giving yourself permission to dream yeah and that's what we had here oh my god yeah, that's true yeah like give yourself permission to open yourself up more in career in money new endeavors there's definitely something to do with permission and like am i allowed to do that have i got permission to do that okay hope that makes sense so thank you so much for watching guys if you like this video don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up comment down below and subscribe thank you so much for watching and if you'd like a private reading all my rates are down below you can email me or you can message me on instagram if you would like a reading and i'll speak to you very soon much love Bye. hello group number two let's get started with your reading and see what your unexpected blessing is so we're going to start with the crystal cards we have dioptas direction heart chakra another heart chakra rose quartz and connect third iron crown chakra apophyllite and this is apophyllite i love apophyllite it's so pretty the masculine 42 and awareness live in the moment be conscious of your thoughts look for signs and guidance capricorn the boss semi-sextile allowing and then for the tarot we have the ten of swords nine of pentacles and the two of swords seven of pentacles wow <laughs> okay so let's get start with your reading so in terms of the blessing that's coming towards you there's definitely an element of releasing something and group number one got this as well about releasing and it makes me feel like you are yeah it's definitely a cycle there's a cycle that's ending and you're starting a new one but you're kind of confused about where to go so what i'm feeling is this could have two different meanings i feel like for some of you actually there's three different meanings okay this is going to relate to different people okay because obviously it's a general reading so for some of you this is just all about your emotions and all about how to deal with them and connect with them and connect with your heart chakra and just allow things to just take a direction that it's supposed to go in okay allow things just to take their own time and allow things to move at their own pace in a divine timing way okay and it's also just allowing that to happen and if you're feeling quite stubborn or you just like why won't things move you just gotta let this go okay you gotta let this cycle run its course and then it will open up a new gate where you will feel much more content and if you're in that content place then you've already moved forward okay for some of you it's also to do with love and I am sensing with this rose quartz it normally indicates that there is a partner coming in and it's someone you're going to connect with really really strongly uh, it's going to be somebody who is very in their masculine energy so if you are a feminine that is extra clarification it doesn't have to be but we do have the masculine here so I'm feeling a masculine energy whether male or female this is definitely about your awareness as well being conscious of your thoughts looking for signs and guidance so be conscious of your thoughts constantly and kind of make sure to meditate a lot and be separate from your thoughts not separate from your thoughts but observe your thoughts because we want to make sure that we're not too much in our head okay i, I want to clarify this two of swords because it's they're telling me it needs like it needs more information because i'm not i'm not picking up like a certain message wow yeah okay so this is really this is really interesting right we had the ace of cups is this in the reverse 
Okay, so it's in the reverse, guys, but it's gonna go up right. Right, okay, so basically what they're telling me is to love yourself first, and this is like this right now, because you are currently in an element of not loving yourself or confused about how to love yourself, okay? And it's going to turn that way up, and it's going to overflow when you start loving yourself or start understanding yourself at a more loving level. And it's also going to bring in new love. It's going to help you to connect with somebody who is on your path and most likely going to be somebody who is a Cancerian, Pisces, Scorpio, definitely a Pisces, Aries, Taurus, Scorpio, Capricorn. I think that's it. They're not really giving me any other signs. Possibly Leo or Aquarius. Obviously it doesn't matter about the signs, but that's just extra clarification. We also have the Chariot and the Two of Cups. So this is basically showing me that once you have your direction or once you just focus on something that's positive towards where you want to go, this is all just going to end up really, really easy. I feel like it's just confusing right now. You just got to be by yourself, guys, and just understand what you want. And then I think that's just going to help you to go in a direction. And I'm not talking about like a massive direction. I'm not talking like a massive like, oh my God, wow, yes, my life has suddenly changed. It's like you need to just focus on something that gives you that oomph to kind of move forward because Capricorn is very, very determined. They're very, very concentrated, strong, masculine energies, Capricorn. And I do definitely feel like that can kind of overrule you if you don't manage it properly. It can be very overwhelming, you know, it can feel like I don't know what to do with all this energy or I don't know what to do with all this kind of drive and I'm stuck. So it's just like allowing this to happen and it will allow, it will it will move, move through and you will get the reward, you're gonna grow. And it's also seeing the potential, seeing the potential in a possible outcome that I know will happen, you know, and I do definitely feel that happening. There is something else I want to look into. I definitely wanna look into a couple more astrology cards because I wanna be a little bit more specific and see what else is kind of coming up. So what else for group number two? In, oh, in terms of the astrology, I'm just going to give these a little bit of a shuffle. Okay. Let's see what else for group number two. It does feel career. It feels like career, love, and emotions. As I say, three different things. First house, the self. That makes so much sense. Yeah, as I say, loving yourself and understanding yourself. You're literally just learning how to understand yourself. That's pretty much it. And then I, I'm making it sound really easy, and it can it can be really difficult. But it's like you're just learning to understand yourself. That's that's what this information is, you know. And this Jupiter is about optimism, about potential expansion. So once you understand yourself, you're going to expand more of that, and you're going to because you understand yourself more, you're going to be able to know what to accept, what not to accept, that sort of thing. <clears throat> and we also have Aquarius, the innovator. I did say Aquarius. It feels very like hard headed, but in a loving way. It's almost like, yeah, I'm just getting like raw feminine power, you know? Um, and they're very, very spiritual people, Aquarius. They're very, very spiritual. And with Capricorn and Aquarius, I do feel like, I don't know if they are opposites, but they feel like they're opposites, you know? They feel like the Aquarius is more of like the open thinker, Capricorn's very focused. So I do feel like it can be like battling two parts of you, but I think it's actually moving away from that part of you that's your old self and moving into this new part, which is where you feel much more open and comfortable with who you are. Does that make sense? Hopefully it does. Thank you for watching guys. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up, comment down below and subscribe. And also if you'd like a private reading, all my rates are down below. You can Instagram message me or you can email me. All the information is down below in the description box and I'll speak to you very soon. Much love. Bye. Hello group number three. Let's get started with your reading and let's see what unexpected blessings are coming towards you. So we have Ruby, Passion, Root and Sacral Chakra, Family, Third Eye Chakra, Eye Light. We're going to have patience, creation. I'm sorry if you can, guys can hear my squeaky chair. I do apologise. Possibility and cycles. Okay, so from the astrology, we have Virgo and Pisces. Gorgeous. Love that combination. Now from the tarot, page of wands, two of... Uh, I was going to say two of cups, two of pentacles and the wheel of fortune. Okay, so first of all, I love how the wheel of fortune is right next to cycles. Like that's gorgeous. I just think that's like so synchronistic. Um, so I want to know what this creation is about. Can you just tell me what this creation is about? So you're learning a new skill. I do definitely feel like you're learning a new skill. That's what this creation is all about. 
and it's able to talk about your feelings I feel like I feel like the next unexpected blessing for you is just you're going to have a new sense of being and I know that's so general but it's almost like you're understanding yourself at a much deeper level and you're going to be able to go towards your passions and what you're passionate about and there's definitely something that you're learning but I'm really getting drawn to this passion card there's just something about your passions that you are really really connecting to and it's just being patient about it you know I feel like what is happening is you're creating something within your own little world and then you're going to release it so this could be literally anything and it doesn't have to be releasing it you know you don't have to like show it on social media or anything like that it just feels like maybe you're going to create something within yourself and then share it with possibly family or that sort of thing. I feel like you're going to be understanding your family as well, whether it's just from a distance and not kind of being interacting with them and having a different relationship with them or no relationship at all, you know, or it's understanding your family and knowing that they have their patterns, you have yours and you're going to be much more comfortable with them. So I definitely want to feel into this creation what's this creation more about so i know some of you want to travel and i do see that happening i do see that especially to a hot country i'm seeing egypt um dubai that sort of thing the hierophant wow wow oh my god so this gave me massive tingles this card just got so much power behind it wow like i'm literally holding it and then my whole body's just tingling and then and it stopped <laughs> as soon as I put it down. So let's see what else we have. Let's see what else we have. The moon. Okay, yeah, this makes so much sense. With the Pisces as well, it's understanding your spirituality in a, in a different way. We've got the Five of Swords. So this may be quite a difficult experience for you in terms of actually getting there. In terms of being difficult, it doesn't have to be long and hard. It might just be just difficult, you know? It may just be difficult. Yeah, we've got the world as well. So there's definitely something really amazing expansion happening. This moon is gonna help you to unlock, they just told me, unlock your subconscious and therefore be able to connect with a soulmate. So if you're looking for a soulmate and you're looking for somebody who is a spiritual partner, someone who's very mature, I definitely feel like you are connecting with somebody and it could be an Aries as well here, Virgo Pisces. Um, you could have Virgo Pisces in your chart as well. There's definitely something to, you're like grounding the spirituality in some way. I'm not sure what this is. If, you, if this resonates with you guys, you'll know what this is, but they're not really telling me. They're kind of being very vague about it. You're definitely learning something new though. You're learning something new, whether it's something you're making or creating or you just, embracing this new part of you it's almost like you've been hidden behind these walls for such a long time by like anxiety or rejection or lack of expression and it's almost like you have a jacket which is kind of like a the old the old part of you you're kind of like unzipping it and taking it off and now you've got like a new a new side of you it's almost like i'm, I'm just getting like this and like ripping like something open but in, it's just like really gorgeous though because it's like such a a gorgeous yummy new cycle this makes me really excited i'm not gonna lie this makes me really excited i don't know what this is but it makes me really excited <laughs> okay so i'm gonna have a little bit look into a little bit more and see kind of if there's anything else that wants to pop in there's definitely a lot of guides around me for this group there's about three guides and um, just screen number, yeah, it's screen number three so three guides for this group we have leo and the eighth house intimacy i knew it was about intimacy, I knew it. I was like, okay, I need a card that's gonna express that I'm actually thinking what I'm thinking about. And we also have North Node Destiny. Oh my God, I love this group. It's so, it's so fun. Like, this group is so fun. The eighth house is about intimacy, sex, erotic, capital, secrets, mysteries, the underworld. This is all about this Scorpio energy that I was feeling. Wow. It just feels very like passion. Yeah, that's what the passion is, we have passion. And this is, and, and intimacy is all about, you know, sex, expression, creativity. That is so gorgeous. I love that. So what's happening? Oh my God, so many tingles in my body. You are really expressing yourself. And I would say, just taking this old jacket off that, no, it's just gross and dirty and doesn't even cover you up anymore because it's got so many holes and it's like so like burnt up and, you know, it's old you're releasing that old part of you that just was so restricted and you couldn't shift properly you just couldn't shift and now it's like boom bitch yes woo okay so leo there's a there's a disco ball sorry about my lights guys you might be able to see but there's a disco ball and here we have a pole dancer 
which is just so expressive and fun and it's like yes bitch like opening up like let's go and also we've got a scuba diver helmet so it's like going into like the deep parts of yourself and really kind of this is very sexual very sexual i love it and obviously if you aren't of age to, to do that then it's just going to be about expressing your creativity and kind of just like understanding who you are on that level and obviously this is going to re re resonate to a lot of people at any age because obviously intimacy isn't just sex you know it's it's about understanding who you are and what your values are what you want out of life and it's also but it feels deeper than that it feels like how do you want to show up in the world and i think i said this quote somewhere recently and it was like and i, I had this revelation at one point that was like if there was nobody else in the world and it was just you would you be living for yourself or would you be living for somebody else and that's just like clicked everything into gear you know wow holy crap i love this so compassionate so empathic healing energy it's just yum <laughs> i love it it's like it's so yummy it was really really good yeah just grounding that spiritual energy and also i feel like some of you guys could be learning about kundalini energy and possibly your shadow side as well with the underworld is like coming in a lot of scorpio energy so sexy love it so thank you so much for watching guys if you like this video don't forget to subscribe if you would like to and if you'd like a private reading all my information is down below you can instagram message me or email me at victoria here to inspire at gmail.com and i'll speak to you very soon much love bye hello queen number four let's get started with your reading let's see what your next unexpected blessing is so we have tiger's eye animals so the plexus Larimar, water, ocean, throat chakra. I love that combination. That's really gorgeous. Let's have an itchy foot. <laughs> a really itchy foot. Abundant, darkness, flow. Abund oh my god, we have abundance twice <laughs> in two different decks. I love it when that happens. Abundance. Oh yeah, I was seeing a rainbow. I was hearing someone over the rainbow by, I think it's Ava Cassidy. That version, I'm pretty sure it's Ava Cassidy. Quin Quincut? Quincunk? I can't, I can't say it. Complexity. <laughs> <laughs> the word is complex so complexity we then have trine flow sagittarius and pluto from the tarot we have the ten of pentacles the death card and the six of cups wow let's have a look into this guys so there's definitely like two different energies that are kind of battling against each other because we've got the solar plexus and then we've got the throat so it's like two ends of the spectrum sort of thing and then we've also got complexity and then flow so it's like two different things you know why have we got two different things because it's you're coming out of a really big change and it's almost like you're coming out of complexity into the flow and something amazing is going to happen because of it and this Sagittarius energy is all about adventure it's all about being experimental traveling risk-taking so it's like just being yourself unapologetically and understanding that that's where you need to be you know and with this ten of pentacles it's just like literally expressing yourself on a really really gorgeous level and ultimate transformation i feel like some of you guys same as i think group three you're gonna find your soulmate you're gonna find your soulmate guys this is really really nice yeah you're gonna find your soulmate and it's gonna be somebody who is so amazing this is all about you connecting to your childhood as well so you could be just doing something to do with your childhood that just feels it just feels like you're just connecting with your childhood and what i think is so interesting is where we have complexity and flow we then have we have abundance and darkness so it's like completely opposite sides of the spectrum you see that moon in the corner is like so different so what it's showing me is that this darkness is you're overcoming it and when you overcome it or over it <laughs> you will have deep understanding and flow in your life and it's not easy guys i'm not going to say it's easy because it's it's not but it just feels like you're just working on the sides of you that just just need to come out you know i don't feel like this is any i don't feel like you're forcing this i feel like you probably want to force this so it doesn't take as long but it's just like once you've come out of this you're going to have so much flow and it's going to feel really just 
open and expansive with this transformation you're definitely clearing a lot of extremes you're definitely clearing a lot of extreme energy that doesn't need to be there anymore hence the death card you know like that's just shows it straight away that's just ultimately what that is i feel like i'm representing the death card today with wearing black i don't really wear black so i really feel like there's a lot of transformation and once you've gone through this there's abundance on the other side guys okay and there's definitely going to be somebody who is going to be committed to you someone who is long term someone who is possibly going to have babies with you babies in the future it's like i can hear you talking to your future partner or your partner now but i do feel like this is more of a new relationship and you're talking to them and you're like yeah i've been through a lot in my life i just want you to understand that i've been through a lot and i need consistency and i feel like you are literally going into that you know you're literally going straight into it and saying it and this person's gonna deliver this person's gonna completely deliver like it's, it's gonna be amazing guys i love this this is so stunning especially with this darkness card it's like oh god i'm here again but it's like you don't have to worry because it's not going to last very long so i want to pull a couple more cards okay i'm going to do they're telling me to do one section about career and one about love so let's do a career one first because i feel like there's quite a lot of energy here so we have the seven of cups not knowing where to go too many options or not enough options what else ace of pentacles so there is definitely an offer coming in guys temperance yeah so you're definitely going to get balance this is like i can't even explain how good this is like with the ace of pentacles and temperance you're going to be balancing yourself out so much better than what where you were and the seven of cups feels overwhelming to me but i feel like you're going to understand where you are and i feel like if when you they're telling me if you move house or when you move house things are going to make so much sense that's just to some of you um and also with the hermit we have the hermit with love let's see what else we have for the love life king of swords and we also have the empress so there's somebody who's going to make you feel really good about yourself and you're going to feel really good about yourself when you meet this person this person may come off as a little bit cold a little bit strict but i feel like they're going to open up to you and they're going to feel really really good and with this king of swords it's somebody who's very career orientated someone who is very kind of i'm hearing the word restrictive but i think you're possibly letting go of a restrictive person as well there could be that that too definitely getting a lot of scorpio in this energy yeah the lovers beautiful that just explains it i love it knight of swords so strong fast energy once you guys click you want to freaking click there's going to be a lot of sex around me <laughs> that's gross i'm not going to say that word again <laughs> and then we have the three of pentacles so you could meet this person through work or they could just help you with your work you could go into work with them but i'm also hearing that once you click with click once you click with this person your career is just going to take off because I feel like your energy is going to be so much lighter. So I also this is just to say that if you work on your energy and make it lighter for yourself, then it's going to feel like you don't need a person. And then the person's going to come in, you know, like. This is so stunning. I love this. And the fact we have the two of cups and the lovers is like, spirit is properly here with us today. So thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up and comment down below and subscribe. And if you want to get a private reading with me, all my information is down below. And you can message me on Instagram or email me at victoriahitofaspire at gmail.com. I'll speak to you very soon. Much love. Bye.